Susan has the flu. She coughed. She was sick. She had the flu. She did not know how she caught it. She went to see her doctor. She did not like the clinic. The clinic was small and damp. There were always people waiting. She sat in the waiting room. Kids were running around. People were sitting next to her. They were coughing and sneezing. She was coughing and sneezing, too. She felt terrible. She waited for hours. They finally called her name. She quickly went to the nurse. The doctor will see you now, the nurse said. She went into a small room. She sat down on a bed. The doctor walked in. Hello, Susan, the doctor said. She told him she had the flu. The doctor checked her symptoms. He gave her a prescription. Feel better, the doctor said. Thank you, doctor, she said. Comic books. Comic books are illustrated stories. He loved comic books. He had many comic books. They were all on a shelf. His friends collected comic books, too. He sometimes traded comic books with them. He read comic books all night. He turned off the lights. He grabbed a flashlight. He sat up in bed. He wrapped a blanket around him. He stayed up reading his comic books. He had a fun time. He went to the comic book store. He went each Friday after school. The comic book store was great. It had new issues of comics. His favorite comic book hero was Spider-Man. He bought all his issues. He stayed at the comic book store. There was a couch inside. He did not always have money. He read the new comic book issues in the store. He saved his allowance for comic books. Math test. The day of the math test was next Monday. He had three days to study. He did not like math. It was his hardest subject. He had to study in order to pass. He locked himself in his room. He turned off his phone. He shut off his computer. There could be no distractions. He left his radio on. Music helped him study. Every day he studied for hours. After two days he stopped. He needed help. He could not solve a math problem. He called his friend. His friend was good at math. He asked his friend if he could help. His friend said yes and came over. His friend helped him study for three hours. He was ready to take the test. His friend wished him good luck. The day of the test came. He took the test. He passed the test. Studying had paid off. Ready for the race. The big race was tomorrow. He would be competing with people from other schools. It was his first big race. He was worried, but he was also excited. He was the fastest boy in his school, and he had been training for months. He had been running for a long time. He joined track when he was in middle school. He loved running. He ran everywhere. He ran to the market to pick up groceries. He ran to school in the mornings. He ran back home after school. He ran to his friend's house. His friends lived far away. He did not mind running. Running was his passion. It was the night before the race. He had a good night's sleep. In the morning he woke up ready. 
The race was in a couple of hours. He got ready. He was not nervous anymore. He was prepared to race. Dreams. He dreamed a lot. He had good dreams. He had bad dreams. Sometimes, he had strange dreams. He dreamed he was a cowboy. He rode a horse and gunned down bandits. He dreamed of being an astronaut. He orbited the Earth in a spaceship with zero gravity. These were good dreams. He dreamed he was in a room full of people. In the dream he was naked. Everybody in the room laughed at him. He dreamed he was on a boat in the middle of the ocean. He was lost at sea. The boat was sinking. These were bad dreams. He dreamed of unknown places. Places that seemed bizarre. He dreamed of worldly creatures that looked like humans. These were weird dreams. His dreams were fascinating. He wondered what they meant. He wrote down his dreams in journal. He kept it safe in a box.